Moving on to Comic Cons slash cosplaying. The fandom of Harry Potter is well known for visiting Comic Cons. Comic Cons are basically a place where fans of different films slash series come along and meet up in one place. They usually dress up in costumes, bought online or even homemade if they can't afford it. Characters from films slash series. Also at Comic Cons, you can have the option to purchase replicas of objects slash items from your favorite films slash series. If you're lucky enough, there is a possibility of seeing the actual actors from the films slash series and a possibility to get an autograph. Cosplayers enjoy dressing up as their favorite character from a movie or series. They mainly enjoy it because it gives them a feeling of being the actual character. This may include purchasing merchandise, which includes t-shirts, trousers, and also costumes. Controversies that may happen between fandom are debating, for example, who is a better character, Harry Potter or Voldemort, or even what movie from Harry Potter is better, and last but not least, who co- whose costume looks better. Also, Harry Potter includes gender stereotypes, which some fans nowadays may not appreciate. Adding to Harry Potter fans are disappointed and angry with Rowling because of her vocal transphobia. Moving on to see CGI. CGI was used in Harry Potter a lot. For example, the flying brooms. They had to place the brooms on top of green wrap stands. Also, the brooms was in a, were in a room covered with green screens. To make Hagrid look giant, producers found a 6 foot 10 stunt double for the, for the actor. They also made two versions of the sets for his hut, a larger set for the actors like Harry Potter and Hermione Granger to seem normal size and a smaller set was used to make Hagrid look large. The moving staircases in Hogwarts were a combination of, a one, of a, one real staircase and a tiny model of multiple staircases, made to look real post-production. The actors stood on the single moving on the film scenes, and the re- rest were sweeping views of the model. The moving portraits in Hogwarts were a mix of green screens and real paintings, replaced by moving images. Post-production, all of the portraits where of the producers who work on the film survey could be immortalized in the movies. Not everyone in the films was supposed to look like muggles or wizards. There were a ton of creatures, which were required to use an entire creature shop in set. They spent hours making and putting on masks for the Gringotts goblins. In addition to creating models and masks, he creature Shop could actually make the monster models move with motors. The giant spider in one of the movies took motors and about 100 people to move. Voldemort's face was half human, half digital. Makeup artist covered actor Ralph Fiennes with temporary tattoos for veins and gave him contact lenses, fake eyebrows, nails and teeth. The digital team switched out his nose for snake-like slits. To film sweeping views of the fictional Hogwarts castle, the art department built a 1x24 model based on a sketch by one of the production designers, Stuart Craig. The castle takes up a massive room and details every courtyard field and tower filmed in the movies. The tower could be lit inside. Also, Real gravel was used and plants were used for the landscape. It took about 86 atas- artistic months to construct. It took 86 artistic months to construct. Dumbledore's office was intricately designed by producers who bound hundreds of British phone books in leather to film the bookshelves and placed 48 portraits on the wall of Hogwarts headmasters before Dumbledore. The memory cabinet where Dumbledore showed Harry's memories was decorated with more than 800 tiny hand labeled v- vials. In the movies, five large warehouses were needed to store all of the props during the Harry Potter films.
Five large warehouses were needed to store all of the props using. Ah. Uh, um, five large warehouses were needed to store all of the props using the Harry Potter films. They include 5,000 pieces of furniture, 12,000 handmade books, and 25,000 printed pages.